Welcome back to another Breaking Par series, attempt number six. We are at the home of Troon. Troon North playing the pinnacle course today, and this video is sponsored by Splash Sports. Splash Sports offers paid fantasy contests and games of skill such as Survivor and Pickaxe, and allows you to compete against each other and not the house. Splash is the largest gaming platform for private contests. If you want to play against your friends and not the house, go to Splash Sports. We are going to get in all 18 holes here at the Pinnacle Course at True North. First time ever, 18 hole video on this channel. Let's get it. It's been a while since we've done a vlog video with a voiceover on this channel, but we're getting back at it, back to the OG ways that we've done these videos when we first started. I think the last time we did this kind of video was when we did a video at Silvertip, and that was back in June. So it's been a while. We got True North playing the Pinnacle Course. You're going to get all 18 holes in this video, first time ever. If you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button, hit that like, drop a comment. All the returning guys and girls that watch this, thank you so much for the support. You guys have pushed me to be able to do this full time. I've been doing it full time now for two months and I can't thank you guys enough. Drop a comment. I really want to know and hit that like if you guys like this style of video, the vlog with the voiceover, or if you guys like me talking to the camera and talking through shots like I've been doing recently. That's a par on the first hole, so always, always happy to start off with pars. Now with this series that I do with breaking par, as a scratch golfer, I believe it's such a tough goal to hit par or better the first time you ever play a course. And most of the courses that I play, I play for the very first time. So it's super challenging course or goal. I have to be on my A game every single time when I go to a golf course if I want a chance to shoot par or better. We're gonna get better, our game's gonna get better, and that goal is gonna be able to reach more and more as I keep working on my game. But right now, it's a really, really challenging goal for me as I believe it is for any scratch golfer. So shooting par or better, first time seeing a course as a scratch golfer, you're on the top of your game. It's a really cool bogey though, with the one-handed putt, gotta admit. Um, that was kind of like, I don't care if I make this because I was mad that I three putted. Those are the bogeys you don't want. Three putt bogeys are ones you have to try to avoid, especially if you wanna to try to shoot par. Really, really can't have three putts. One fun fact about Troon North, it is in the home of Troon. This is where it originated. This is where Troon Golf first began. They have two courses here at Troon North. They got the Pinnacle Course and the Monument Course. I actually put them back nine at the Monument Course on my Instagram page. Go watch the, every single hole from the back nine there. I was told the sunsets in the back nine of that course is just fantastic. You gotta play that course at sunsets. So the next time I go back to Phoenix, I wanna come back here and I wanna make sure I play the back nine at the Monument Course in the sunset because it blows you away, I was told. I played both rounds in the morning and it was nice enough that they caught me. So I was super happy and super grateful that they allowed me to come out and shoot these videos. Right now, I'm currently one over through three, hitting my approach shot into fourth and eight iron from 156. Hit a really good shot in there to about 15 feet. And these greens are rolling at a 12 to a 12 and a half on the stem. So you can, for me, playing on greens that are usually about like, I would say a nine, maybe 10 and a half at most. This was extremely quick. So trying to get the speed down was extremely challenging for me I almost felt like it was on the defense the whole time around this golf course and you're gonna see it through this video I had a tough time making putts I hit the ball extremely well in this video and on this day my swing coach has me kind of not trying to sway back as much I'm trying to keep my balance on my front of my toes and not shifting my heels and it's been it's been helping me with a more consistent ball strike which my misses have tightened up so it's super super helpful to try to shoot lower scores and not get big numbers on the scorecard so but realistically though coming down if you can hit the ball you still got to put the ball in the hole you got to have a hot putter if you want to score well not getting up and down like that hurts the scorecard i should have been able to get up and down there i'm one over through five i probably would like to be even or one under at this point if i could get up and down on five and eliminate the three putt on two that would have been the perfect start for me and this is what i was talking about how my misses have gotten better now a swing like that i one-handed follow through i thought i like blocked this like 80 yards left of the green and it wasn't even that bad it just kind of got off the over the bunker and i was watching it kind of run down the hill towards the hole 
left myself with a 25 footer down the hill and again very defensive putt here it was super super quick i thought it'd break a little bit more because it was downhill it didn't left myself with a five foot comebacker i knew this was going to be pretty straight back up the hill right in the center and again these greens are so fast and so true if you can just start it on the right line with the right pace it's going to go right in the hole probably the nicest greens i've put it on in a long long time hole seven at true north pinnacle course 456 yards number one handicap hole on the scorecard and I really didn't know where to aim here. Again, first time playing the course, I thought there was more room right than I had. I thought there you were dead left, but when I get up there, there's more room left than I thought. I chunked a nine iron out of the desert, left myself, I think, about like 35, 40 yards here, and it hit a really, really good and nippy approach shot. It just stuck and just stopped. Had 12 footer here for par, and this is where I talk about how true these greens are. If you can just start it online, it's going to go on the hole. Just got to get the pace right. It's a really, really clutch up and down. Really, really good putt. Saving that one over. Still giving me a fighting chance here to stay around even par, which is the goal. And I really like this swing here. This is a really good 7 iron from 176. And this is a beautiful par 3. I really like this par 3. I think it's the nicest par 3 on the front 9 for sure. And there's a thing 16 might have topped it when you guys see that later in the video. But that was a bad putt. Again, down the hill, being defensive, not playing enough break. Not used to these greens. But hey, we're one over through eight. We got hole nine. We got a good chance to shoot even on the front nine. Solid three wood right down the middle. That was a great swing. Left myself with about 142 in. I got a pitching wedge in hand, slightly downwind. Just got to smooth it. And I flushed this right in the center of the face. Couldn't be more happy with that swing. The swing feels so good right now. So those lessons and the time that I finally got a golf coach for the first time in life is kind of paying off. Left myself the 10 footer here up the hill. Funny story about this putt. The marshal said it's gonna break, right? I read straight, should have listened to the marshal, probably would have made bird. Thanks, if you stayed this long in this video, you must like watching good golf ball striking, and you must like watching people struggle around the greens, because that's what this video is all about. And if you have stayed this long, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me out so much. Drop a comment, because I really want to know if you like this style of vlog video with a voiceover, or if you like the video of me talking to the camera face-to-face, -face, like a POV kind of experience. One over on the front nine here at True North Pinkle Course. I was really happy with that nine. I hit the ball really well. There's only a few things around the green that I'd like back. I want the three putt back on two. I want that one short putt back, and I really should have just listened to the marshal on nine because I probably would have made birdie. So a few little mistakes there. I think in a perfect world, probably two under on the front nine if it was perfect, but one over is still a really solid score first time around a golf course. And this is not a very good up and down. Hit a really bad approach shot in this green wasted the perfect two iron off the tee starting on the back nine off the bogey we're two over now on the round this is where i need to start taking advantage of par fives are where i have to really go at it and i was trying to hit a draw around the corner and trying to play it down the right side and i just blocked this thing it was a good thing i was trying to aim down the right hand side because i blocked it like 40 50 yards left of where i was aiming left myself 260 and made this hole super super long Hit a really, really good three wood with the ball above my feet. I was really happy with that. Just short of the green, about 10, 12, 15 yards. Hit a really nice little chip lob wedge in there. Stuck it to about five feet. Left myself a really, really good look at birdie to bounce back from that bogey off 10. And like I said before, these greens are so pure. You just have to start it on line and it goes in the hole. Get the pace right. It's a really, really good bounce back birdie after the bogey on 10. One over now through 11 holes. And this hole that driver wasn't in play for me because i thought i could get it to the ravine and i just pulled hooked this three wood out of bounds i do play a drop rule just like kind of what good good does social media rule i guess you want to call it just play a drop and hit three from here it's more so for pace of play because filming does take a little bit of time so hitting three from there playing everything is hazard block this blocked a shot of left of the green is that kind of a hole out we need to put it in the sprinkler head not sure but anyways, so we are now chipping for bogey here. So we got to try to make this because we don't really want to get too high in numbers here. Oh, that's such a good attempt. That was such a good attempt. I thought I almost made it. Left myself with three feet for double. This is a big putt because you don't want triples. It would have just killed my round. So three over. Still giving me a chance here. If I can get hot down the stretch, I can, do, I can fight this back and get it back to par. We got 
170 par 3, get a 7 iron hand. And again, this isn't a horrible a horrible miss. I did drop my club, it's kind of similar to that 6 iron hit on the front line where I thought I like blocked at 80 miles right or left, but with the new swing and kind of being a little bit more consistent with everything, especially my face angle and club path, that really wasn't a horrible shot. It just felt a lot worse than it looked. And then I bladed the bunker shot, left myself 15 feet down the hill, really defensive putt, just tapped this thing, almost made it, almost made it. Starting to finally kind of get used to the speed of the greens on the 13th hole. Man, they're so quick. 12, 12 and a half on the stamp is really quick. It's faster than a lot of PGA Tour events, actually. 609 yard par 5 here. Hole 14, a true north pinnacle course. Longest hole on the golf course. Hit a really good drive. Just stayed in play down the right hand side. Left me a 286 in, and I blasted this three wood. I thought it was going to come out left off that lie because the ball was so far below my feet, and it drew. It drew, and I thought it was going to go at the guy's carts, but the guy in my group is like, "No, you're completely fine," and he was right. Just short of the, just right and short of the pin, had about a 20 yard chip. Really good chip here. Left it below the hole. I'm going to be kind of straight up the hill, almost at it. Just got to put it just kind of inside right edge, and I pushed the living out of this thing. Just such a bad putt. That was such a bad putt. So a double bogey on hole 13, a bogey on hole 14. Not really the start you want to go here on the back nine. We got to battle it back. We got to get things going here on hole 15, par 4, 371 yards. Really, really good drive. That's a really good swing to bounce back after those two bad holes. Left myself a 68 yards, just a little lob wedge in there, and I caught this one really, really nice. We're going right at the pin, landed just right at the pin, spun a little bit to the right. Left myself with five feet here. Another really, really good bounce back hole. At least we have three over now through 15 holes. And then again, like I said in the front nine, I think this par three might be the nicest par three on the golf course. Hole eight is still really nice. This one just kind of just a little bit nicer and it's like a hole in one pin it was like in a bowl i was just kind of in between clubs a little bit took a little bit too much off the pitching wedge it hit, did hit the green and it did spun back off the green and then this is just a tough chip because everything's running to the left away from it. as you can see if you can hit it right of that pin it could funnel in the hole and then that's just a nasty little lip out a little bit more pace or a little higher on the break and that thing's in the hole that was just another bad putt and then that's another bogey. So we're four over with two holes to play. We got to finish strong here. We got to finish strong. I would like to finish somewhere with around the three over mark. I try to shoot another goal of mine. The first time I play a course is to shoot 75, three over. So in this course, be 74, I think is a really good goal for me. First time I play, par or better is kind of the push, the challenge. But if I can shoot three over the first time playing a course, where my game is right at this moment, I'm happy with it. So I got a little six footer here to save par, and this is kind of save the scorecard. Nice. That's a really clutch putt. That was a lot better stroke, a little bit more aggressive, stayed with the line, knocked it right in the hole. We got 447 yard hole 18 here, the final finishing hole at Pinnacle Course at True North. Started off with just a bomb of a drive. This thing was just perfect with a three wood, right down the middle, couldn't ask for anything. It was launched, like 290 I believe this thing was hit. Got 157 in with a nine iron. And the swing's feeling so good. I flush this thing with a little baby draw. I should have aimed left of the pin because if you can kind of see the green, it slopes hard to the right. Pin's kind of on the right-hand side. I was going right at the pin. It was such a bad decision. I should have went way left. I nuked this thing like 165, 170 yards and hit a really decent bunker shot out of here. It funneled down to about eight feet below the pin. And I just need a little bit more pace on that one. Would have knocked it in. I'm going to have another attempt at breaking par. It's going to be at Sand Hollow. If you guys like this video, smash that subscribe button, drop a comment, hit that like. Thanks for watching. Until next time.